Welcome, Tactical Talk number five, and today we are joined with Coach Scott Rickley. Welcome, Scott. Hey, thanks, Mark. Okay, so hey, we're going to talk about your 05 girls, and I'm very curious to ask you about your game against Emerald City, which obviously took place earlier on in the season. Now, leading into this game, you were currently playing a 4-2-3-1 formation. However, you changed your formation leading up to this game to a 3-2-4-1. Now, Scott, why did you change? Um, so, first off, I felt like we had a very strong set of defenders, and I knew I could trust the three backs. Um, the second moving part was my midfielders were struggling to participate in the, like, moving um, so we would get caught out in the attack and then we would really give up a big midfield presence. So I figured, okay, maybe I have these two defensive sixes and I have two not so mobile mids, but we can, we can overload, put four players in there. Um, and with the combination of the two, um, allow the allowance for the two players to go and get caught out trying to get goals while we could trust the two holding mids to, to do their job. How did your opponent set up um, in this game? And also, how did they match up against your new formation? Um, yeah, so with our new formation, it was a bit scary going into the game. I, you know, I had previously told the girls, like, hey, if this doesn't work, if we're not able to keep up with their movement um, and their formation, um, then we'll pull back and go back into a, our normal 4-3-3. They played a 4-3-3, so they knew exactly where the problem areas were going to be. Um, being in the channels and us going to a three-back system, they had uh, two high wingers. Those high wingers were going to be attacking our back line quite often. Um, that being said, with our, our extra midfielders and our wide players, I told them to go and double back on them um, whenever we were to lose the ball. Um, so there was a lot of midfield movements um, to, to press to make sure that it wouldn't go out wide, and then a lot of movement for our players to go and help the outside backs um, from the wide mid players. Interesting. And, and Coach Scott, how did you adjust or influence the game, you know, to help gain your, your team the advantage? Um, yeah, so there was a big battle in the midfield um, for possession. Um, us, it, it was very crowded. Um, us being the higher numbers, we immediately tried to play out wide first and then play more, more direct into our strikers. Um, that being said, we tend to only have one striker, so it kind of felt like a midfield counterattack um, whenever we could catch them out. Um, that was like kind of our, our blessing. By playing wide, we stretched their back line out and allowed for our, our number one striker to run through. Um, and then from there, whether it was a hold-up play or if we could get in front of goal and, and quickly um, take a point, then that's kind of what we, we laid ourselves into. Um, outside of that, you know, quick midfield presence to win balls back again and, and try to really hound their, their um, top three to make sure that we weren't going to lose the game in that sense. And I know you won the game, Scott, 2-0. Talk us through the goals. Um, yeah, as I said, you know, um, quick, quick movements um, out of the midfield once we gain possession, playing to wide players and then playing balls through the middle, uh, semi over the top or on the ground um, at an angle, um, finding our striker's feet or pulling her into space. Um, one was a build-up play that we actually built from the outside and played back into the midfield with a one of our, our midfielders who usually plays on the outside, who's really good on her feet in tight spaces and uh, allowed her to break open. Um, and she took one in. And then um, another kind of midfield attack where we broke the line with a big through ball. Fantastic stuff. Thank you for your time, Coach Scott. Tactical Talk, Episode 5.